Oh, would you look at that? Ah, it's so clean. <laughs> you can make your ships look brand new. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I, I didn't think I would like it. I was just like, oh well, it's just got different skins. That's that's neat. Oh yeah, that's a good good way to good way to go about the, the the like the like the types of little packs that they're having now. But oh my gosh, it's it's beautiful. I, I want to see the other ones. I don't I don't have them yet. I was just whoa. Okay, hello, being very zoomed in when I press P. Whoa, I suddenly gain <laughs> engineer with a giant head. Use skin to re. So what if I unskin it? Oh, it just t it just changes the color without the skin. Okay, that's nice. So no skin is the the uh, kind of like beat up kind of kind of look to it, but with the with the with the clean skin, it's all nice. Ah, I like it. I like it. And they have the then they have the cryo chamber. Oh, something's getting built. Uh, I don't see the small version. Hold on. Cry. What's the only? One? Oh, it has the small block variable or. Variation to it. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. looks looks kind of like the teaser one. <laughs> I don't I don't really play on online servers on online too much, so I don't know if I would get so much use out of it. But I love the way it looks. It just it just, just shove it on the bottom of the viper and just go about it. Oh, I wonder how the viper would look with all the clean skin. Okay, let's get the viper's color. Uh, let's take the clean skin. All right, and neat viper now. <laughs> Ah, it actually it actually looks like a little neater. It it's more shiny, more uh, more sci-fi like like uh, what do you call it? I don't know. There's like there's like the different types of sci-fi. This is more like the it feels more like this like uh, well it doesn't really feel very Star Trek. It doesn't have like the. Anyways, it looks it looks shinier. It looks it looks it looks nicer. I want to get the camo one and everything. Put it on there. Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> what else was new? Oh, we have the build planner. So remember how like so the, the that amazing mod where you just right click now I have all the stuff for an armor block. Well, I saw this. <sighs> oh my gosh! Let's go like that. <laughs> and then if I do Alt Middle Mouse button deposits all ores and ingots and components. If I just press it, oh, it just does the same thing. So I wonder if I have. Uh, so I just go like this Alt Middle Mouse button. <gasps> Finally, <laughs> finally, R withdrawal stuff for the current build planner. So do I have to press this? Default withdrawal is the middle mouse button. Control middle mouse button just blocks, just does ten and keep the block in the build planner. Alt control and middle mouse button withdraws and keeps the block in the build planner. So okay, so it just withdraws the ten of ten of the ten of the. <gasps> and it has little pictures. Oh my gosh! All these different UI. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. Now, is there like in uh, so are they planning to release release something so that people can start modifying the UI, or is that already out there? Because I had a couple ideas, maybe maybe that I could do myself. <laughs> but oh my gosh! Look, it's got little all oh, the pictures. So like, let's say I named the corner light drill. Well, if I <laughs> So I, I'm like, oh, well, well, I named that one light drill because I'm silly. Oh, look, there it is. It's a light. Oh, that's that's perfect. That's perfect. Uh, a random light. <laughs> Oops. Can't type at all. Random lights. Very nice. Very nice. It has all these different... Okay, so I take everything out. You can... Oh, you can add components to the... Com oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so if I if I select it, I can say, "Oh, I want to I want to build more uh, proficient welders," and it it's queued up, dude. That's cool. I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. So we got oh, stuff from the build planner, and then like the default. Oh my gosh. Improvements, <laughs> significant improvements to the to the making happiness of I can't talk usability. Wait, does that does that mean clean skins for everything? Like, oh yeah, my my hydrogen tank that looks like it's been here for a hundred years. Oh, it just got here. It's brand new now. I uh, just repainted it. Uh, it still looks still looks kind of scuffed up on this area, but the, like the base the base is all smooth. Ooh hoo hoo! Look at you, all smooth and textury. Oh, I love it. Oh, I colored that the wrong color. <laughs> I, need to, I should probably just recolor the whole base at this point, but... Oh my gosh! And then Frank Frank can look new. 
Look at that. Smooth as. Okay, what about this? Eh, just change like this one little collar. Change the collar and the block. They didn't really change these silver parts, but that's fine. That's fine. It's progress. It's progress, and it looks really nice. I wonder if it applies to other modded blocks. Okay, it looks like just ones that use that like kind of. Okay, I see. I see where it's going. That's really cool. So Bob's can you know the the, the corners of the tanks are a little scratched up. Just paint them. Look better now. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, okay. I just saw that and I had to I had to get a reaction. I, my, I reacted so well when I first colored those two blocks. I'm like, why aren't I recording? That's really silly. <laughs> I should be. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Now you can like you could build old looking ships that are like well using what is now what is now the the old texture there the skin the old skin. I would just, it's, it looks it's more like a texture. Uh, anyways. You use the old skin and like, oh yeah, that's old, but like, look at this fancy new ship. Oh, so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Does it keep changing colors on me? Am I like randomly changing colors? I might be pressing buttons. <laughs> I shouldn't be pressing buttons. What if we did that green? Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> I have some stuff to do, but I'll, but I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Hello again, everyone. So I oh, oh I painted the Viper. That it's just kind of like a like a just a test paint, just to kind of see. But yeah, I, I gave in and I got the I got the the little textures. Oh, they look so cool. <laughs> uh, this isn't the final coloring or anything. I just wanted to try it out because like look at the you get the you get the, uh, you get the, the carbon fiber. It looks it's just like so detailed up close. It's just like you see the little the. It's it's really pretty. I, I really like it. And then, you know, the the clean oh no, that's not clean. I think I already showed you the clean the clean thing. So I went and washed Frank. <laughs> Everything looks so squeaky clean now. Look at who knew the lights were carbon fiber? I didn't know in the drill. What? I didn't know this. It looked like even 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 these. Even these are are this like kind of carbon fiber. Oh my gosh. Who knew Frank was so dirty? <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't clean these areas though. It's I just probably walking around there too much, you know. Got all the little scuffs and, and usage marks. But everything else that I don't normally touch is pretty clean. <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking is like is going to be what people do with it. It's like use it like stuff that you're expect like if you want it to look used, you use the original textures. If you don't want it to look used, you you paint it clean. <laughs> it's really nice. I like it. It makes it look more, it like creates a contrast between lived and like, like stuff that you, you're normally touching and stuff that you're not normally touching. It just, it just makes it look just that much better. Um, so I originally was going to go like blast on back out. You know what? I should blast off back to that asteroid and then do what I was planning. I could tell you what I'm planning in like the first couple minutes while I'm blasting off to that asteroid and then I'll just, you know, pop out at the asteroid. Just wham, be there, you know? Uh, and no, no fuel, because there we go. The batteries are now set to discharge. I wish I could just. Did I, do I have it toggle discharge? I really. Uh, that's. Okay. Really wish that's what. <laughs> if you hovered over it, it'd say what you were doing. Um, no. Is it toggle auto? No, I don't see it. So we'll just enable auto. There we go. And yeah, now the now Frank's battery should be like practically fully charged. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Fully depleted in three days while just sitting here, but yeah. So we're gonna dock up the Viper, and I'll, I'll, I'll I guess I'll show you that. <laughs> I'm just gonna take off here. You know what? I'm thinking I should color the area around the um, around the the bottom thrusters as the dirty texture. Well, this one already is. I was planning to leave the connector as the dirty texture. Maybe this one has to be as well. But maybe this whole area. Oh, this whole area already is. I never got down here. So yeah, like when the thruster takes off and it kicks up all the all the junk that's getting up on onto the bottom there. It's just kind of kind of like a thought of what's going on. All right, let's get in the Viper here. Um, I did produce some gravity generator components, so we should have yeah we have the artificial mass. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. I don't think it's using that much power, but I don't want it to use any of it. I'm not going to give it its um, what do you call it? Its decoy launchers yet, or its decoys yet. Uh, let's go ahead and put the... I think that's for stockpile, so stockpile is already off. Wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Viper out there. Oh, it didn't carry over most of the scripts. Ah, that's fine. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and detach. And try to. There we go. Now we have that view. Hey, new Viper. Better paint. Better flying. Better. Yeah, it's just better. <laughs> oh, I guess something is getting finished as well. Oh, it has the. It still has all the stuff from. Uh, from. See, look. This is like the docking. Oh, oh. I think we are. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I think we're between the base and Frank here. Oh, that's kind of strange. I thought I would—I thought I was able to view the docking camera. I just broke something. I thought the docking camera was in this kind of... Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought I recessed it, but I guess I didn't. And I also didn't plan out docking too well because I didn't include the thing, so I'll just press P. All right, what do we got? Uh, did we break anything? We probably broke something. We, we probably cooked something with these thrusters by the looks of it, maybe. I think I think one of the bobs might have might have cleared that up for us. Oh, and we're missing these little these little flares down there. Oh no 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 we're not. Okay, yeah we're good. All right, let's get into the uh, see see this one like in the like in the video show me mean this the, the viper means business. It's it's not it's not fooling around. Oh I forgot to load it didn't I? It has it has nothing to 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 conduct business with. Is Frank flying away? Oh my gosh, Frank's like slowly hovering away. That's that's funny. Oh, I should turn off dampeners in here. Not a great idea still, but it, I'd, I'd rather it not be fighting me the whole way. So let's uh, dampeners off and stockpile on to make sure the our uh, to make sure we, have, we end up with maximum kind of fill on our hydrogen tank. Uh, let's see what we have in terms of Gatling. Oh, yeah, they're already full. Okay, cool. Or they already have some in them. That's that's good enough. I don't I don't plan to go in a big fight. <laughs> I just plan to go to that little little asteroid. All right. So other thing I'm planning to do. Um, instead of like flying out here, I'm thinking of setting up some drones, like going out a big distance, just putting GPS markers and building like a set of ore detector drones to fly along hopefully close near the surface and detect up some some different ores. I don't know if there's uranium occurring on the moon, but I would imagine magnesium and other ele other elements occur on the moon just fine. Man, this thing is beautiful. This game is extremely pretty still. I love it. <laughs> Ever since they went from DirectX 9 to 11, it's been amazing. Uh, we are not losing speed. All right, so that's that's the plan. I'm gonna go ahead and build the drones and do all that, and I will see you in a moment. Seeing that, look at the bottom. Look at the blocks on Frank and the Viper. See how they're just, they're just kind of like glitching out and they're like vanishing every so often. That is creepy. <laughs> oh, that's that's not a good. Sign. Oh, it's doing. Oh, I've seen this before. I I seen. I feel like a long time ago when the the blocks would look like they're flying off of the ship, but they're just there. Yeah, this is kind of weird. It's I've, I haven't seen that in a long time. I didn't know that was still a thing, but uh, we're almost there. I would say we've pretty much arrived. <laughs> I was going to say a bit ago when I was talking about the the the, the blocks kind of going all flying away from said ship uh, that I really enjoy the these pauses because it allows me to run my room air conditioner. It's been getting to uh, we're getting back to California summers here, <laughs> and it's and it's peaking around like. High 90s kind of thing, not not, not too bad yet, uh, but yeah. So it, it was really nice because I had it on, and then, and then I noticed that, and I I said something, but I'm like I, I just realized I forgot to turn it off. But hope you don't mind the hope you don't mind the hum or the the it's more like a <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can't find uranium or anything else on here. I'm just gonna kind of hover around, see what see what there is to see. Uh, I don't pick up anything immediately. I also probably forgot to bring my drill. Oh, no, I didn't. Ha! Smarter this time. Yes, we are. Okay. Let's try to get in the Viper and just kind of, like, cruise around the... Whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to put on my helmet. I took I took it off because the, the sounds are sometimes really nice. Oh. There's an unknown signal up there. We could go to the unknown signal. Because now we have, like, something to fight it just in case it's mean. But we're not really going to be able to do too much damage to it. But as far as I can tell... Well, the only one that I've encountered doesn't move. <laughs> it, it looks stationary, so I was figuring, well, maybe we could just go off of that. I don't know, but let's get in the Viper and kick on that ore detector. Uh, both of the ore detectors. Uh, turn it on, please. That one's 100. Oh, the 
Frank's ore detector wasn't on. Oh, well, that's that's different. Uh, well, we might need to move Frank over there then. Oh my gosh, I can control. Can I control Frank from here? Oh, I think I can. All right, I just have to drive him differently. Uh, this one. Oh, you know what? It's fighting the Viper. Never mind. All right, let me go and detach and kind of just pull away here. Whoosh. <laughs> Dampers on, please. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Oh, why are we smoking? Oh, it's cooking the battery. Whoops. Uh, let's go ahead and tell Bob to... Bob? Nope. Uh, build and repair? Nope. <laughs> oh, it even has the icon for the custom blocks. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's tell it. Where is its, where is its grinding color? There we are. Set that as my current color. Remove that and oh, it was it's already synced up. Oh, you know what? I saved it from from in the world. So let's go ahead and tell it to uh, Build and repair system. Let's go ahead and just kick it on. All right. Let it grind that stuff down There we go. Cool. All right, and then we could then we can continue to fly the Viper around without burning up most of the ship Okay, cool Let's see what we got around here Anything nice anything nice at all? I don't know. I'll see you in a moment. Wait, just realized uh, we don't have lights on the Viper. The Viper needs lights. Why doesn't it have lights? That's that's something. That's an oversight. Just completely forgot to put lights on it. What if I'm in the dark? <laughs> How am I supposed to use it in the dark? All right. Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh my gosh, Frank is so small. <laughs> this asteroid is huge. Oh my gosh. I forget the scale of things in this game sometimes. Like. This stuff's massive. Like, the Viper's huge. Like, compared to a person, it's like the size of a car. Oh, I didn't, I probably didn't load up with enough ice, because we're starting to run out of fuel. That's a, that's a thing with the, the, this Viper design, is it seems to be extremely short range. Okay. Uh, we'll try to just kind of gently kind of pull in over there, and I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, so the Viper definitely, definitely needs like a mothership around at, at all times, and Frank, Frank makes a good mothership. <laughs> So, in my little journey around the asteroid, I really didn't see anything, and I was kind of surprised until I saw how small Frank was compared to it. I probably need to get closer. I'm building gravity generator components at home. I really should have put... Oh, wait, I don't have the mod on it. This is, this is hardly a modded world. I might as well... See, this is, this is what I was thinking. I want to do the... Um, that exploration kind of survival, kind of see how it goes. It was really fun to do alone. And I was wondering if people would like to watch it. Well, then I then I tried to tried to get the the uh, well, it's pretty much the Radiant Four from or Radiant Seven from Star Wars. I can't remember uh, the Consular ship that's you see in Episode One. And uh, well, this this new one's really nice that I that I that I cooked up's really nice, but it kill it just like tanks the sim speed, and I'm not really sure why it's tanking. It just is. So I'm, I was just okay. Well, I need to redesign it. So I've been I've spent a little bit of time redesigning. I still have uh, some finals left for next week, but after that, I'll have I'll have uh, quite a bit more time. <laughs> this is pretty. Look at this crater. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's just like I, I I just flowed I flew down this side just a second ago. If you if you want to get that kind of that kind of feeling, I'm like. In my head, I'm just like, there's no, there's nothing here. Like, I can't believe there's nothing here. This is just like a, this is such an intricate asteroid to be, to be devoid of material. But then I, I just kind of popped down and I'm like, and then I saw this, like this lumpy rock and I looked up and was like, whoa, that's pretty. I love how, it, oh, it's just, it's so nice. It's, it's barren. This, this rock is barren. I'm, there, there might be something in the core. I don't know, but it's beautiful. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put a beautiful crater. Then I'm gonna go check the next asteroid. Ooh, that's a drone facility. Ouch! Sorry, I just whacked the microphone because my phone was falling. I, I I 3D printed a case and I printed it on the glass bed. And uh, yeah, that was that was the wrong move. That was way it's way too smooth on the bottom. It falls off of everything I put it on. It's like I've never seen it print this smooth, and I tried to replicate it, but it's it's like nah, no, nah, I'll just print uh, not so smooth next time. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But why'd you print so smooth the first time? Okay. Anyways, that's a drone facility. I need more ice because all of my uh, generators are out of ice. Now I, I did realize that the the Viper has medium cargo containers to store ice. I just never put them on. I just never put the ice in there. So that's that's something I'll need to do. And I can probably use one. Oh, oh, we have nickel. Dang it. <laughs> 
If only this is the hardcore series, then we have more nickel. Uh, oh, I can make a Frank in the hardcore series. That'd just be a waste of time. I need to get off the planet. I think I can make a Frank when I'm off. <laughs> I don't know if it would necessarily be a waste of time more than a... And then a, uh, I already take too long to do things. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. We have not hitting the asteroid with Frank. Look at that. What skill, such ability. Much wow. Um, let's get over here. That's an old meme, huh? What is that? Silicon. Dang it. Okay, nickel and silicon. We're close. Or we're close to more materials, at least. How come you're not telling me what that is? Oh, it's silicon. Dang it. I'm like... It's uranium, so it's not going to tell you until you're right up on top of it. No, it wouldn't make sense, but it'd be cool. <laughs> it wouldn't be cool. It'd be that actually that actually be kind of annoying. <laughs> no, it looks like there's just silicon and nickel on here. I really want to find some. Uh, the moment I need ice, there's no no ice to be found, huh? Okay, I'm gonna head over to that little cluster, that that fragmented guy. Actually, no. I was, let me head back to the that cluster that was down here that I was originally going to. But then this one turned out to be just a little bit closer. My gosh, Frank is small. How do some of these how does some of these people get like okay sim speeds with these large ships? I'm not even sure why my my ship had such terrible sim speed. I I'm not sure what takes up you know what, I'm betting it's the it's all the productivity stuff and it's all the wow, we're getting close to that. Yeesh. We could take on one drone before we run out of fuel and drift forever. Well, I might be able to, like, bring Frank around to try to dock it. That might be something to add into the cargo bay of the Viper. Like, four... Four or five, uh... Maybe just six. One for... Yeah. Maybe six, uh... Ion thrusters. Like, enough for six ion thrusters. So if it runs out of fuel, we can... Kind of maneuver. Uh, there's material on this asteroid. I wonder what it is. Looks like nickel. I'm guessing nickel. Uh, we'll see when we get close. Let us see. Oh, it's changing color. It might be silver. Could be silver. I'm getting closer. I don't want to whack into it. Uh, let's see here. We still have the drone facility, not uh, multiple drones. Oh, that'd be really nice to take on with the Viper once it's <laughs> once it's all the way done. Because right now it's just it just has Gatling guns. It doesn't even have missiles. We need uranium still. Hey, it's silver. Okay, I don't know if that's worth picking up. I, there's lots of silver near the base. Uh, that looks like iron over there. We might as well kind of well. Let's kind of float around the silver asteroid. Um, would I feel bad if I abandoned the Viper just at this moment, just so I could uh, move around more freely? Oh, you know what? I might as well just float. Yeah, I'm just going to mark this place as a silver asteroid. I keep finding all sorts of silver on here. So I'm just going to call it a silver asteroid. Silver asteroid. Hopefully I spelled that right. And... Oh, oh is that okay, still two signals? Yep, okay. <laughs> uh, let me get back to Frank. Where is Frank? I feel like this asteroid has space worms. Look at all these holes. Like little... That's a wormhole right there. That's... Ah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Wormhole. No, no, it's the hole for for actual worms. It just it's just weird. I'm just going through, and it's like oh, these look these look wormy. <laughs> I don't. I've never seen like a. Oh, I guess you can see like a wormhole in an apple or something. It kind of looks just like a straight hole. But yeah, it, it's yeah. It kind of looks like there's worms in here. This asteroid had worms at some point. Ew. <laughs> Why is that asteroid purple? That's kind of weird, huh? Let's go. Let's go ahead and see what uh, see why this is purple. Is it just distance? The light playing tricks. It kind of looks like the color's still a bit of a blue. It's got no. It's got like a purple hue to it. So does that one. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Is it is it made of is it made of uh, grape candy? <laughs> I don't know what what else is what else is is purple and food related. Uh, well, grapes of course, but <laughs> ignoring that. Uh, ice. I see. I saw ice a second ago. Is it right here? That's not ice. There's a, there's an ice marker. Okay, 100 meters away that way. Nope. Is it all around me? Is all of this ice? A stone. That's not ice. A stone. Hmm. Huh. Okay. It must be inside. It must be inside the asteroid. Oh oh oh! Dark, dark, very dark. These head these headlamps have like no throw. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. 
I like it. I should put Frank in here. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, a place Frank here. Oh, there's ice. There. It's, it's right around there. There's ice on this purple asteroid. Weird. You know, ion thrusters kind of sound like one continuous wheeze. Well, a second ago they did. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it sounded like when Frank sped up. He's just wheezing on over. <laughs> so oh my gosh! It, it just it just sounded like a wheeze. I'm like, oh, it's this. It's, it's, <laughs> That's a wheeze sound. <laughs> that was kind of funny. All right, gonna grab gonna grab some ice so we can get the the Viper actually fueled up just to kind of see how it works in environment. Uh, that's yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> We're still slowing down from that top thruster, but we're, we've got a bit more space to it. There we are. And now we selected the drill, and we're mining. There we go. I've gone out and carved an area of ice. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to have to um, sit, or, not sit around, but we're going to have to come back to this because uh, it's getting late, and I still haven't found any uranium. It's kind of cut it. Okay. I can't believe I still haven't found any. I feel like I found some almost instantly. Don't I have a marker with uranium? And do I have to go all the way over to that? Oh, wait. Uh, oh, I guess not. I was thinking there was already uranium somewhere. Okay, well, I guess I guess not. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the Viper and fill it, or check how full it is. Well, it's full enough that all the thrusters are on. All right, let's check on... I might as well just chuck that in there. And let's go to... Uh, tank. Let's check the hydro hydrogen tanks. 100% full. And then uh, cargo containers. So we're going to go into the cargo containers. And then we're going to just search up ice on this. Oh, sweet. The two medium cargo containers on the Viper are already full of ice. Lovely. Were they full of ice to begin with? I didn't think they were. Well, they might have been. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, so let's just chuck all the small cargo containers of ice as well. See how that goes. There we are. Cool. All right, let's uh, go ahead and detach and just kind of float around here. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> let me let me head over to this other asteroid. I'll look for it. Look through it real quick. If I oh, you know what? That one. That one looks cooler. That's the one with all the silver. Head to this one because this one looks. This one doesn't look as cool. It looks like it's just going to be an iron asteroid. It's got like iron everywhere. Uh, let's try this little cluster right here. Maybe this cluster has something for us. Or this, this this little shattered guy. I think I've been to a couple shattered... Oh my gosh, I don't remember that one. The one with all the silver being that cheesy. Like, cheese gra or grated. <laughs> the new... The new... Oh, it's so sad. The new the new Mac... It's Mac Pro or whatever, the, the tower. It looks like a cheese grater. I'm glad they're making towers again, but... Oh my gosh, cheese grater. <laughs> but it looks like it now has proper cooling, and that's, that's really nice. That's an Apple product with cooling. What is that? Uh, no, it just looks like silver. Okay, I'm going to fly this through these. This is very unadvisable. Please don't do it. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to get whacked by one of these. I'm going to fly back through it again. Ooh, going to do it. Got to do it. Okay, I'm going to fly right through the center. Uh, let's get in this first person view so it looks cooler. Oh. Oh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to hit this. I'm going to... Ooh! <laughs> I almost hit that one. Didn't even notice. Okay, let's go to the cheese gratery. Let's go to the... Let's go to the... Uh, the very broken one. I bet you it's the silver one. I just didn't. I just don't notice. Okay, this thing accelerates fast compared to Frank. All right, and we will do the whole Viper thing and flip it around to slow down, because it's got the big thrusters on the back. There we go. Cool. Because that's that's how this thing best slows down. All right, let's find out what's what's throughout here. Let's use those big thrusters to slow back. Down. Okay. What do we got? Absolutely nothing. But it's pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, oh. Yeah, no. Nothing. Nothing at all. This is this is disappointing, but I do get to fly around the Viper. Which is draining in hydrogen. Sheesh. Oh, 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 let's not hit those. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to Frank and we'll uh we'll dock back up. I think Frank is is Frank crashed or something? What the heck? Hold on. Oh. Oh, Frank's just... Okay, compared to us, is upside down. Oh, I didn't notice. Uh, let's go ahead and... What if I set that to stockpile? Don't we still have ice? There's ice in the cockpit. There's ice in the cargo containers. Uh, let's go generate. Generators are getting ice. They're just... 
I, I just I guess they can't keep up with all the hydrogen thrusters. Yeah, this isn't a very long range craft. <laughs> just gonna kind of puff over there. Do, do little puffs. <laughs> then we'll eventually get there. Just little little coughs, little coughs of thrust. Uh, let's make sure we're rotated around the right way. Uh, let's go ahead and push the other way. I'm gonna puff down. I don't. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh boy! Hello! Oh, dang it. We lost something. We lost something big. That's no good. That's no good. Something's chewing up the viper. Okay. Well, I can't maneuver. I, I lost a thruster or something. Sheesh. Jeez Louise, guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, we don't have any hydrogen. We're just we're just running on uh, probably missing a hydrogen tank. Yep. All right. That's not a good time. Oh, it is not shooting my Frank. You are not touching my... Oh, come on, Viper. All right, you have an antenna and a thruster and a will to live. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, where's that dang thing? Get over here. I'm going to drill you. And... Get missed, sucker! <laughs> uh, Frank needs an interior turret, like, now. Uh, is it gonna follow me? Uh, no, it might be following my Viper. 95, 96, 95. Oh, no, it's following me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Get over here. Uh, oh, where's Frank? Where's Frank? Oh, I lost him. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I did not see that coming. There's, there's bits of the Viper floating away. Sheesh. Look at all this. Dang it. <laughs> Rude. Sheesh, guy. All right, let's get in. Let's get in, Frank, and let's get out of range of that drone. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting such a such a surprise attack. I love it. It is amazing. Okay, we're just gonna get yeah. The bottom of Frank's just gonna get cooked here for a moment. You know what? I have a drill. You don't have a drill. You wanna go? You wanna you wanna test your superiority against my drill? Come on, come on, I'll drill ya. Drill you real good. Ready? Ready? Come on, Frank. Come on, get get better thrust, man. Ready to get drilled, you stupid drone? Get over here. I'm gonna drill you like there's no. Ow! 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 Okay, okay, that was a dumb idea. Uh. Yeah, let's heal up real quick. Still in the relative safety of Frank. <laughs> okay, it, it's, it's, yep, yeah, yep, it's, it's hovering around. It's trying to get me. Well, that was very dumb. <laughs> Ow. Sorry, Frank. Oh, oh, Bob's getting it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, ready to get drilled? Oh, crap. <laughs> I think it had a warhead on it. Yeah, I, I, I think it'd be kind of safe to say it had a warhead on it. Well, you know what? It's not there anymore. Ha! Get blown up. <laughs> oh my gosh, dang it! <laughs> well, I wasn't supposed to die in that encounter. Oh, okay, we're, we, we, have to, we have to dampen ourselves with it. There we go. Alright, and it's now gone. And back to Frank. Where's Frank at? Frank! Where are you, Frank? Ooh. Spooky. Where's Frank? Oh, no. I did not lose Frank. Okay, there's the Viper. That is ice. Two moon signals. Where the heck is Frank? Okay, he'd be under respawn ship. Respawn pod. There we go. Okay. And Frank is... Oh! <laughs> well, if it was a snake, he would have... And had a hard time biting me being 300 meters away, but dang, okay, so I wasn't expecting that. I kind of lost the cockpit. Um, I need to put Bob back to being able to do armor blocks. Hi, Bob. Uh, build and repair system. Uh, go ahead and do armor blocks. I kind of, uh, I kind of broke Frank a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead, go ahead and fix these up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to take the... Don't we have a basic assembly? Yeah, I'm going to queue up some... Uh, 
Well, we probably got some stone out of that, so. Okay. And we'll go for steel plates. 20 steel plates. Uh, since I know where you are, I'm going to go get the viper. Where's the viper at? Uh, it's far away. Wherever it is, it's far away. Uh, antenna 2, that's the viper. All right, well, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Talk about being caught off guard and without any weapons, really. I, I, just, I, the, it, it immediately took out the hydrogen tank on the Viper. That's, that, I don't think that's happened before. That's must have happened. Before. Yeah, that happened with the other Viper. How come when I do this, like, and I go fly it around and try to get the tank destroyed, it, nothing touches the tank. But as soon as we get actually into something, the tank just gets wrecked immediately. Look at that. It's gone. <laughs> no tank here. Oh, man. We lost a lot. Okay. Well, they kind of caught me off guard. If. They happened to... Nope. Nope. Survival kit's gone. They tore straight through the survival kit because it's in their priority. Dang it. So they got both the decoys. Uh, well, actually, no. They didn't get the second decoy. It's right under there. Uh, they didn't get, They didn't get a lot of stuff, actually. This thing is relatively still usable. Uh, let's get to Frank. Oh, now I can see Frank. Just clear as day. All right. Let's just kind of push over there. And then I'll throw the dampeners off. See you in a moment. <laughs> All right, I turned the projector on so it doesn't look so bad. Oh, it's actually kind of building up stuff. I really hope it focuses straight onto that hydrogen tank. Oh, man. <laughs> the the flight of shame has been long. Uh, it, it took It's it's taken a little while to get here. And let's, Well, we're not smoking any that too much. We're, I think that's just the, the... That's just Bob going out and fixing things. Oh, man. Weren't ready... Was not ready for that. I'm probably going to modify the design to completely cover the hydrogen tank. I like the way it looks, but I don't I don't think it's useful. All right, we'll use those thrusters to slow down since we do kind of have thrust with the um oh, we have something knocking around inside. Uh, I need to turn the projector off. Uh, find out what's knocking around. I think there's a there's just a, a wayward block somewhere. All right, we're okay. We could we could we could make it up into Frank. We'll be all right. Ah, lovely. And we still have a reverse camera. <laughs> of all things to survive, the antenna and the reverse camera. Yep. Thanks, Bob. Really helping out there. Sheesh. Sheesh, this thing. Okay. Hey, you want to rebuild the rest of this? That'd be much appreciated. <laughs> oh, we're drifting. And we need to be facing the other way anyways. Okay. That's that's gonna have to be it for today. That was that was exciting. That was that was exhilarating. I love I love when this game just kind of comes out and surprises you because it's it's just like boom surprise and you're like whoa that was cool. <laughs> uh oh uh oh. Well I need to be able to switch cameras now. Please camera third person camera so I can see what I'm facing. Okay there we go. Oh not again not again. What the heck? You know what? Where's my oh I have no weapons on this dang thing anymore. I'm just, it's just floating towards you now, you little butt. Die. Oh, it missed. Come on. You can fight what's left of the viper. Come on. Oh, it is, it is, it is dead. It is so, oh, we just lost all thrust. Okay. Well, time to abandon ship, I guess. Let's get out. All right. Uh, Frank, where's Frank? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's exploding. Where's Frank? Uh, there he is. 640 meters away, I think. Nope, that is not him. There he is. Hi, Frank. Uh, we need to get going. Oh, you have no thrust, do you? Sheesh. Okay, I need to get into the control panel. Come on, come on. Control panel. Uh, ion. Oh, gosh, why are they hidden? Uh, forward. Oh, I have no forward thrust. I don't even... Okay. Just give me one thruster anywhere. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, bye, Viper. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just getting ripped up. <sighs> I'll be back for you, drones. You'll rue the day. <laughs> Dang, that was that was intense. That was intense. Okay, uh, let's get these ion thrusters off. <laughs> 